Hi everyone, today we're going to show you how to make your own sea bunny pom-pom at home. Sea bunnies are a species of nudibranch, which are a type of sea slug. They get their nickname from their fuzzy appearance and two ears, which are actually sensory organs called rhinophores. There are more than 3,000 species of nudibranch worldwide, which come in an array of colors and sizes. While some look cute, like the sea bunny, others look beautiful, and all of them are wonderfully unique creatures. For this activity, you will need some white and black wool, some cardboard and a marker, or a pom-pom maker if you have one, some felt fabric, PVA glue, scissors, and a bristle hairbrush or a wire pet slicker brush. To begin with, make your pom-pom template using the cardboard, marker, and scissors. Draw two identical donut shapes on your cardboard by tracing some items you have around the house. Cut them out and then cut a small slit on one side of each ring. Next, you need to wrap your wool around the cardboard rings. Hold the templates together with the slits in the same place and cover the entire ring, filling in all the gaps. The slits come in handy here as you will pass the wool through it while you wrap. Mostly use the white wool and occasionally do a thin wrap of the black wool. This will make the sea bunnies speckles. Because we want to create a dense pom-pom for our sea bunny, you should wrap a lot of wool so that the ring is plump and the center circle is almost filled in. Next, insert the scissors between the two cardboard templates and cut around the edge of the ring. Once you have cut the entire way around, tie a length of wool around the middle of the pom-pom between the two cardboard templates. Make this knot as tight as possible to make the pom-pom nice and secure. Remove the cardboard template. Now we need to shape our pom-pom. Because sea bunnies are oval in shape, we are going to trim the pom-pom around the edges until it is a long oval shape. Make sure to work all around the pom-pom and trim it so that all the sides are neat. Once you are happy with the shape of your pom-pom, use your brush to fluff the pom-pom up to create a denser, more fluffy pom-pom. Trim and brush again until you get the fluffiness and shape that you like. Finally, create the rhinophores by cutting two thin strips from the felt fabric and gluing them into place. Paper will do the job here as well if you don't have any felt. Let the glue dry, and there you have it, a sea bunny pom-pom.